Hi developers. So in last part we integrated the user sign up API in our application and now we have to update the application header after user sign up. So let's check that what we need to update in header. So here you can see that we have a menu for login and sign up. So we will replace it with the logout and uh, username menus, right? Because if user is already signed up, then we can show that uh, menus. Second thing, we will implement the logout functionality also. So once user will click on the logout menu, user should uh, log out and redirect it to the again login and sign up uh, screen. And the uh, next thing is uh, we have to stop displaying the user screen after uh, sign up and login. So if user is already signed signed in, then uh, if he is trying to access that user authentication page, he should not access this page because what is the purpose of showing that page again if user is already signed up and login. And last one is we will fix that footer in the bottom of our, our application. All right. So now we can start with code and uh, let's open the header dot component dot ts file. And here you can see that uh, for header up update we just uh, write the condition for seller there and now i'm just writing up one more condition for uh, user so let's put there else if and we will check that if local stories dot get item and here we will check user if in our local stories we have a user then what we can do there we can take a uh, variable with the user store even you can copy this uh, if conditions uh, line of code and paste directly there and make some changes but uh, uh, i will just do it manually right so we just cut a user store and now inside that let's just get local storage dot get item and just simply put there user and uh, after that we will take one more property with the name of user data and if we, there we will check that if user store is defined and this is kind of true then uh, we can just parse it right so just simply put there json dot parse and use local store okay and after that let's take a uh, one property there right so let's say property name is similar is a seller name which is user name and type of this will be string by default value could be empty and here we can simply put there this dot um, username equal to this uh, user data dot name all right and last one is we have to change the menu type so let me just put the menu type is user like we just put the menu type is default and seller so here we are putting there uh, user and now let's jump on html part and you can see that we have a condition for uh, uh, default and seller right so let me just make one more switch case there and the type will be user and there we don't need this login option so we can just simply make it uh, peter and we can remove this option also right that that will not peter sorry guys uh, that will be the uh, user name property right here you can see that we have a name we just created that name property and uh, last one we will create one more for logout option so just let me put there logout and now let's check uh, currently we have this login sign up because user is not logged in so i am just adding one more user let's say the username is uh, hadden and had an at the rate test i think we have to use user.com password is a b c one two three and if i'm just clicking on a sign up you can see that now we have an option of uh, username and logout option right but they both are not working till now so let's just make them working okay so if you just want to make this uh, first letter capital for header uh, for hidden 
then what you can do that just copy this title case from there and simply put that pipe there also and after that for logout let me just add a uh, one more click event there and uh, let's say we can put our function name is uh, user logout and we have to just define this function also this is not defined yet so come back there and uh, let me just create one more function okay user logout and if you want to just copy the same data from the log uh, logout you can just do that just need to just change some parameter let's say we want to remove their user and uh, that is okay uh, it we want to redirect it on the user auth page and now let's see if i'm just clicking over there let's say i just clicked on logout uh you can see that user is redirecting over there and uh next thing is we have to check in our uh, local storage like uh, data is there or not so here you can see that user data is also removed there that is working fine all right so the next thing is uh you can let me just try to log in once again with any uh, another user let's say just try with the tony tony the rate okay user and user name and path password is abc123 if i'm just clicking over there user is already again logged in there all right so now everything is working fine first one thing is that uh, uh, there is a no hand icon cursor pointer there on the tony and uh, logout so let me just do that also uh, just this is just a small css change so on the navigation ally we can simply say that cursor pointer okay now you will find that we have a cursor pointer there that is great but now the next thing is let's say if user is trying to access the user auth page he can still access this page right uh, through the url we don't have any menu to access this but still user can go there from uh, you can say that from url we have to fix that that also so let's open the service user dot service dot ts file and uh, let's create one more function here and let's say our function name we can put there user auth reload like this all right and uh, here you can say that if local storage dot get item user is present that time what we can do there we can simply say that just redirect this page this dot router dot or even you can just copy this line also right router dot sorry guys dot uh, navigate and we can just directly redirect it to the home page so now let's try to again access that thing again so okay we have to call this function also sorry guys so now let's open the user auth component.ts and inside the ng on it we can call this function this dot user service is already called there and uh, then we can see that user sign up oh, sorry th there is no user sign up there is a uh, user reload and now user will not able to access this page so let me try to access it again is trying to access uh, user auth and he can't right great so the next thing is uh, we have to just fix the header in some places so i'm let's log out this page and now we want to fix this header at the bottom of our, our application so the simple things to do that is uh, let's just click on the footer put the position absolute mm. bottom zero right zero left zero and our footer is fixed there right 
so let's just copy this code from there and uh, jump on the footer.css file and we can put this data inside there this is not copied so let me just copy it again okay so now you can see that footer is in the bottom and you can just do whatever you want to do with the like menus user logout and uh, we are just stopping display in the user screen and all so in next part we will start with the uh, user login functionality so thank you so much for watching this video and please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment comment box